Hey folks, AJ here, and in this video, we're gonna go over some of the setup for recording with our Atom Mini Pro. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and this is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So one of the many, one of the many <laughs> awesome features that have been added to the A10 Mini Pro is the ability to use the USB out to record to a thumb drive or like a S SSD drive like this. Now, I normally, even like right now, I have the ATEM Mini coming out of USB into this computer and I'm using OBS to record. So, but with this, I could actually hook up this SSD or a thumb drive and hook it up and record. So, which is really, really cool. Now, um, one thing is a lot of people have said that, hey, you can't use a, um, a USB hub. Actually, you can. And I wanna walk through the different type of methods and different type of connections that you can use to record from the A10 Mini Pro. All right, so now there are a couple of ways that this can actually work to um, record. You can use a regular thumb drive um, as long as it's formatted the right way, which currently right now I have mine formatted in EXFAT format. This is the format that I have used because it, that works across all the equipment I have. I haven't tested anything else. If there are any specific formats that you want me to test out, please let me know. I do know FAT32 does not work. Um, somebody else can test that out. But again, when I tried it, it didn't detect the, the device at all. So that's what I have this formatted as. So let's go over here and let me move the camera so you can see. All right, so very simply, all you got to do is, and maybe I should get the right <laughs> cable. All right, I have a type C to type C. And you know it's going to work because it lights up this little disc light here. And I completely formatted this, so this is completely empty. And boom, there we go. So if I start recording this, and actually let's make this full screen, what I'm doing right now, I am recording, and now, let me turn on the audio from here. So I'm transitioning to now, this is the recording from this actual device. So really cool, makes it um, very easy to do. And like I said, Normally, I take a computer with me all the time when I'm actually doing recording. So the fact that I can put this in here and just record makes this really, really easy and convenient. Now, let's go ahead and stop this. And what we're going to do now is we want to test, does this work with a hub? And this is a type C hub here. Let's go ahead and change out our cable to a regular C to standard kind of USB connection here. And actually, let's plug the hub in first. All right, there we go. And we know it's working because we got a light right there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And now let's go ahead and plug this in. And does it work? Let's see, do we get a light? Do we get a light? Yep, and there we go. So now let's go ahead and record from here again. All right, cool. So I think one thing is, and I'm gonna cut over, let me move this camera. Let me show you what the multi-view is showing. So in the multi-view, it's actually showing the drive which is a 500 gigabyte drive showing how much space we got on it. And it's actually detecting where we can connect something else. So what I wanna do now is because this hub actually has a card reader on here as well. So I'm gonna plug in one of the typical cards that I normally use for my drones, um, what I use here at church. And this is a 120 gigabyte um, Samsung. And let's go ahead and plug this in and let's see does this get detected as well? 
All right, so let's stop recording. And boom, it actually does. So let's go ahead and look back over here. And there we go. So now it's detecting 108. I don't know why it's doing that, but it is picking up the card. So now I'm wondering, is there a way to swap between which card you want to use? But I guess I can go over that later, but that's kind of cool. So now, do I have another drive that I can hook up? Hey, <laughs> all right, so I got another card reader here. So let's see how many it can actually read from. All right, so we got two cards and, and we have our other drive hooked up. So let's see. I'm not seeing anything show up on the screen, but what we're gonna do is let's unplug this first one here. Let's unplug this one and see what happens. All right, so that's unplugged, but that one is still connected. And as you can see, it actually did kick off. And let me unplug this other one and let's see what happens. Yep. So that's what I unplugged. Let's, and again, you can see this one is still disconnected. Let's go ahead and push that one in. And there it goes. So that's cool. So you can run from a hub, but you are limited to at least two actual devices, which is kind of cool. And let me straighten my camera out here. So that's that's pretty cool. So um, let's go ahead and transition back to I'm now recording and I wonder. Like right now, I just hit the record button. It's recording to this one right now. And normally on the HyperDeck shuttle or anything like that, you hit and hold down the record button. It switches over. I'm wondering if that's the case as well, too. So let's go ahead and just hold this down. And as you can see, is that's the one it's recording to. Yep, exactly the same thing. I just kept holding it down and it shifted over to the other one. So that's cool. Now, and that's going from here into this one. So we got two hubs connected. I mean, one hub and then a memory card reader and it's picking it up. Now, I wonder if I put this other card back in, is it going to throw everything off? Are we going to have any options? Because we know that's reading at 117. And I'm just wondering, can we hold down record and will it cycle through the other one again? No, it just cycles back to that first one. Okay. So this is going to be a nightmare to try and <laughs> edit these together. But that is cool. So let's... I don't want to keep doing that because I need to remember which card I used for when I did this recording. So here we go again, and I can't get both of these in a shot. So we're just going to hold this down, and then it shifts over. Let's hold it down again. That's how we can switch back and forth. So that's really cool. So for those who actually are using the A10 Mini Pro, first off, yes, you can connect the hub to it. Secondly, it can actually um, daisy chain other devices to it, but it's cool that it picks up both de devices. So a hub will allow you to have at minimum, well at maximum, two different storage devices to use to record to. So you can have some pretty big drives on there and then just run it over. Now, I don't know what the formatting is and what type of method is actually recording, how much is gonna eat up and stuff like that. And I might go over that later, but at least we know that now that's one less thing that I would have to take or if you want to record, because again, I think in OBS, I was normally would record the live stream and stream it, but you can do both <laughs> in this box. So every day I'm learning more stuff that I'm really excited about what's in the Mini Pro. And what I'm gonna do is in the description, I will link to places that I know that's in stock, but again, I don't know um, how long it's gonna be in stock, but check those out. If you are starting to get to live stream or if you're having one of those issues to where, hey, your, your computer is not up to speed. If you can get your hands on a mini pro, I know at first I was saying I didn't think it was going to be kind of cool. But now the more and more I dig into it, with getting my hands on it, I'm glad I bought one. So anyway, 
If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And if you like what we're doing, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. You can contribute as little as $1 a month and that helps grow this channel, get more gear so we can review it so you, you don't have to buy it as well as that money goes in to help do bigger and better giveaways every time we hit a new milestone on this channel. Just my way of giving back to y'all. So again, this is AJ. Thank you and we will see you on the next video. Later.